Starting out from this question with, from Michelle T. Um, and and Keytron, this is kind of pertinent because um, you said that you actually went into, you know, thinking about other careers. So Michelle said, what is your advice for someone going from a teaching career into a new or second career in various cybersecurity roles? Um, she has a bachelor's and a master's degree, but they are in music and Italian language. Um, would she have to go back to school or would she just work on certifications? Well, I would probably advise initially working on certifications um, to get yourself in the door of somewhere that will then pay for whatever else uh, you need to get. Because the thing is, if you look at a lot of the IT security and the cybersecurity jobs, they don't necessarily say you need a degree in computer science or uh, even anything technical. Mo most of them will say you must have a bachelor's degree. And that's like the first step that you need to meet for a lot of these jobs. So if you have a bachelor's degree, that qualifies you to interview for a lot of positions. And then on top of that, they'll say, and you must have this certification, this one, and this one. So they usually append it with, you can have a bachelor's degree in whatever, but you need these certifications to prove that you actually know about something about this industry. So I would say probably start off with the certifications because for one, they're cheaper. You can get them faster and it gives you an opportunity to get into doors to places uh, a lot sooner. And also, since you have a teaching um, background, you know, uh, talk to InfoSec about uh, coming on as, a, mm -hmm. as an instructor after you get a few good certifications under your belt, because uh, they're always looking for good instructors and people that right. have a, a, a good, you know, ability to teach. Uh, teaching has also been a great way for me to learn things. You know, um, some of the basic fundamental stuff like, you know, how TCP works and all these things, you, a lot of times you can learn that stuff and remember it better um, after you've taught it to somebody else a thousand times, you know, so uh, teaching is also a good way to learn. Right. And I, I think that's an interesting point to consider, Keetron, like you said, um, a lot of times people will request or people or, or hiring companies will request um, a bachelor's or, or a master's degree. And I think a lot of times what they're requesting is that's showing that somebody's got the ability and, and willingness to learn um, and then pursuing that with certifications. So even if it's not directly in the field you're going into, um, you know, I think I've, I've heard some stories of different individuals who have gotten into cybersecurity from very different careers, um, but it's just those individuals that really have the willingness and interest in learning new skills, which they can prove then by certifications instead of degree necessarily. Absolutely. Yeah, the best pen tester I have on my team, she was not a, she didn't come from a technical background. She didn't have a comp sci degree or any technical degree. She was actually um, major in drama, but okay. she was interested in uh, computers and hacking and technology. And uh, we kind of just mentored her and, and just, I would give her little projects to go and practice on and she would take it to the next level. And once Very I cool. saw it, I was like, okay, she's going to be really good at it because she's really digging into it and doing way more than I asked, you know, to, to right. solve the problem. But she's learning a whole lot while doing it. And now she's literally the top uh, pen tester that I have. And she's got the least amount of actual technical experience of everybody else, so. Wow, very cool. It, it's so cool to see how people can transition in, in this industry and, and really come from, um, come from anywhere and be successful. Absolutely.